Hey, what's going on everyone? Mike from the Pipe Doctor. This afternoon, we are doing a combustion analysis on this Rude, also known as Ream, 90% gas-fired furnace in this basement for a customer in Russell Gardens, New York. Um, this is our two-inch exhaust. We did not install this, but there's the fresh air intake. This line, it gets increased to this three inch and it goes into this crawl space. Looks like with good pitch. See, they got some band on over there. So we're doing a combustion analysis with the Testo 300. This is the brand new model for the US. Let's go back one. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Take a look at these numbers. We have, um, 10.5% oxygen. Our carbon monoxide is at 26 particles per million, which is acceptable. My general rule of thumb, anything under 50 is considered acceptable. And let's try to get that down as close to zero as possible. Right now, the gross efficiency is 91 and dropping percent. As you can see, 90.5. Our CO2 at 587%. And our stack temperature. 114 degrees and steady. Our ambient temperature in this basement. Almost 80 degrees, but then again, I have it against this piece of uh, sheet metal on this plenum. Customer also wanted to check out the humidifier. I'm gonna take a quick look at that. This looks like the control wire going to the thermostat. Here is our humidifier. It was an April air. This is open. Let's take a look inside. I gotta tell you, the panel looks brand new. Maybe they don't even have this thing on. Let's find the humidistat. Let's see if we can find that humidistat. I don't see a humidistat. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, humidistat, oh, there it is. So 25%, let's put that, let's max that out a little bit. Hold on a second. That goes to this bunch. Let's go look at this wire. This is kind of odd. So, which wire was it? It was this one, which then goes into here. <laughs> Crazy, look at that, it was never even wired right. So, this fan, this heat, that's R, that's C which is going to, <laughs> okay. This humidifier <laughs> was never even wired properly. Let's see if this water valve is on. Let's go see. Well, look at this saddle valve. Another saddle valve rusting away. I'm not gonna touch that. I'm not gonna touch saddle valve. They're piercing valves and um, not to code in New York. We'll give them the bad news with their, uh, we'll still got the filter. 20 by 25 by five this media filter card just to fix it to that media cabinet. That hasn't been changed in a while. So we got to, uh, Address the humidifier with them. Combustion is good though. And the filter. I've already mentioned this and uh, they're selling the house. <laughs> I think I've heard that many times before. Looks like a partially cased evaporator coil. It's hot. Ooh, it's not insulated, that's for sure. Let's take a look at this thing. 
distance. I was kind of thrown off by that. Look at that return. Looks like they added the filter media cabinet and just made it work. Let's see. Look at that. Is there a gap there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Dust and dirt. We're going to take a look at the blower compartment. You ready? Let's do it right now. Gotta love the Vito Pro Pack Tech XL tool bag. I think it's awesome. You can get one on Amazon. About 300 bucks. Maybe 250. I'm gonna try to do this one handed. I wanna see what kind of growth is going on inside this furnace. Seen worse, seen better. All right, let me put this cover back on, finish up this video. Thanks for watching.